this is why we're doing it. This is the reason that we're here, is to protect this whole area and making sure that the reefs not only stay as pristine as they are, but actually the biomass increases year by year. My name is Marit Miners. I'm one of the founders of Missile Eco Resort. I also do a lot of work with our foundation, Missile Basseftin. Missile Basseftin is our Indonesian charitable foundation. The word Basseftin in the local language means we own it or we protect it together. My name is Andrew Miners. I'm the co founder of Missile Eco Resort and the foundation, Missile Basseftin. So we set up the foundation in order to protect the area uh, surrounding the resort. Uh, when we leased the land, we also leased an area that's now growing to be 1,220 square kilometers uh, and made it into a no-take zone. So the foundation was set up primarily to support that with a team of rangers that patrol and enforce uh, the fishing ban in the zone. So it's a, it's a no-take zone. Just a few days ago, the rangers intercepted a, an illegal fishing boat that was laying gill nets for sharks and rays at one of the outer reaches of the, the park. They were laying gill nets all along the sea floor. There were kilometers upon kilometers upon kilometers. When we arrived, they were picking up the last of five gill nets. The whole place was totally covered in shark fins, um, drying skins of shovel-nosed rays. There were bones of untold numbers of sharks. So they had been out there quite a while already. We managed to free a number of sharks as well, which was pretty exciting. So even though the marine park has been in place for over a decade, we still have to have the vigilance of the patrol out there because it's that constant pressure from fishermen wanting to come in. Something else to bear in mind is that our marine protected area is enormous. It's about twice the size of Singapore, which is fantastic, but unless there's actually an enforcement strategy in place, unless the rangers are on the water all the time, that is just a paper park. Even though we're presenting the story, actually there are much more important actors in this story. The rangers are really the unsung heroes of the reef. It's because these guys are out in the water every single day that we all get to dive and enjoy the beautiful reefs as they are. The patrol is, is it's vital that it keeps going and it's vital that um, they're out on the water every single day. Just by people coming and enjoying the resort and doing great diving and activities, the money that we generate through the resort, we can funnel back into the patrol, to the foundation, to all the other activities that we do. And our great hope for the future is that we can create this fantastic model that's win-win, both for the guests and for the conservation. And we can roll out that model or help others copy that model in uh, significantly important marine areas around the world. Over the past decade, the resort and the foundation, together with the rangers, we've accomplished a great deal. Um, this beach has been transformed from shark finning camp into a lagoon for baby black tip sharks. And the biomass has recovered by 250% on average. So there have been some amazing conservation gains in a relatively short time. But I think that experience with the shark finning boat just a few days ago, it's a really good reminder that the danger is clear and present and it's an ongoing project. And of course, everybody can have some small effect, you know, by choosing wisely what you consume, by choosing how you spend your tourist dollars, you can actually change things. And we hope that with our story, people will be inspired to know that just regular old people can actually do things that make a small change in the world.